party too much and drink. Responsibility, right? <laughs> Gotta be responsible of that. What's your name, by the way? Drink responsible, but drink responsible, <laughs> very responsible, no? What I would say to that is, you know, if he had a bit more of a smile on his face and his voice yeah, was a bit more yeah, like okay. playful. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today we're recording a very special video that probably hasn't been done before. If you like this format, then drop a like. If you don't like this format, drop a dislike and I might cry to Taylor Swift in the bathroom. But today he are, we are here with our new coach. Balin. <laughs> and we are going to be breaking down a conversation that one of our students sent to us. Of course, you know, the student recorded this himself, so the audio quality is not ideal. But basically, what we want to do within this video is to give you actionable takeaways so you can take care of your conversations and your dating life. And Coach Valen will provide feedback in terms of how she would feel if she was a girl, what she thinks the student could have done better. So it'll be interesting to see everything from both of our perspectives. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Excuse me? Hey, I just saw you at Sadiq here just now. I know you're in the middle of your phone right now. But I really thought your hair, it looks pretty on you. Thank you. Yeah. How's your day been going? It's good. Mine's going good too. I cannot wait for spring break. So the first thing I would say is it's a good start to conversation. He's honest about what he's looking for. One thing I would change is I think saying that your hair looks good on you is a bit like weird in terms of the wording so you could say oh i really love your hairstyle or i like the way you no, did your hair but, but like your hair looks good on you is like your hair is a clothing item what do you think no no, no. you're overthinking the like every word i think that if you just listen it it's really good for me it's not a problem that doesn't make me feel uncomfortable also i can't think that for other women could be uncomfortable to comment, but for me it's good. You can't, yeah. You're like, oh, just one more day. Get me out of school right now. I need to go have fun with my friends and party too much and drink. Responsibility, right? <laughs> Gotta be responsible of that. What's your name, by the way? Um, Vanessa. Yeah. My name is Mazen. <laughs> drink responsible, but drink responsible. <laughs> Very responsible, no? <laughs> like by the way what is your name <laughs> by the way is legal like you're more than 21 to drink there <laughs> that is the first comment what are I you have trying to say like what was that comment about to drink responsible you don't like it no i feel like uh that was weird and i feel that was like a very like a guarded that yes you are mm-hmm so how would what you feel if someone said that to you? I would feel like I hate that man. I can never ask me my name. And like, why he's telling me that I have to drink responsible? Mm -hmm. In a responsible way? Mm -hmm. Why? So you think it's a bit too much to say at the beginning? Yeah. Like so that. maybe what I would say to that is, you know, if he had a bit more of a smile on his face and his voice yeah, was a bit more like, like playful. Like, hey, hey yeah. by the way, drank responsibly. Yeah, and as a lot a of joke. the time. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand the purpose of that, but doesn't sounds like a response. Like a. Uh, it sounds very robotic. Yeah, like drink a. Drink responsibly. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Now we can continue the conversation. Cool. <laughs> like, yeah. But I think that a good thing that you can say is like, uh, why are you drinking? Like, is that alcohol? Or just joking? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was the best, but <laughs> you can say like, uh, hey, uh, where are you drinking? What is your name? Mm, good. So uh, but basically what you're saying is at the beginning, since you don't know the person, it's better to have more of like a playful vibe rather than come into the conversation just being so serious? Well, if you don't have the confidence to do good jokes, mm -hmm. if you don't have the confidence to look funny, make them do jokes because you are going to, like we can notice that. I can mm. notice that that was trying to make a joke, but you, like that person sounds very nervous. 
And if you miss jokes and nervous, it's not a good combination. COVID. <laughs> COVID. No, no. The food. Wait, yeah, your food yeah, is COVID. COVID. You're saying your food got COVID. No, like, it's, it's just now. Yeah, the food is too germish yeah. right now. Even you have to be careful about germs. And water, too. You're like, which water can I drink that's safe now? Mm -hmm. Time to get my little barometer measurement done. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you studying engineering by chance? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're not? Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Then? I'm a public health. Public health? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're studying to basically take care of people's health, kind of give people more awareness mm -hmm. to better take care of themselves. Yeah. Cool. Are you trying to go through a pre-med route to be a doctor or a nurse? No, I want to do research. Researching? Mm -hmm. So far, in terms of staying in the conversation and being a bit more persistent at the beginning, this is a good example. I think the biggest thing that's missing in this conversation is just a bit more playfulness and emotion. Like right now, this feels like a survey you would get that would pop up on your Google Chrome and you would try to press close. But the more you press close, the more they ask you questions. And I think, you know, looking at the way the girl's responding, she feels like this is an interview instead of a genuine conversation that she would have with someone she'd be interested in. Yeah, like, sorry for everything that I'm going to say, but I want to be honest. I feel like, uh, okay, when is the moment that th this man going to start offers me Herbalife? <laughs> like, uh, I feel that, <laughs> like, yeah, he's asking me and asking me and asking me. Are, asking you, me. are you telling me that offering Herbalife is not romantic? No, it's not. I'm sorry. I need to reconsider my strategies, guys. So you want to go diving deep into this public health field, then? Yeah. I didn't know public health needed that much research. Yeah, I did. I did have to Oh man, I did not realize all that they do that. So it sounds like you're very dedicated to this then. Mm -hmm. But what got you to studying it then? So, I don't know. I want to be a doctor, but I changed my mind when I became a surgical. I didn't know what it was. First, I just was a good doctor. And I, I just liked the major, so I decided to stick with research. Gotcha. That's also smart too. Instead of being a doctor where you have to spend over 60 hours per week trying to save people's lives and hopefully you don't make one screw up, you get to do more research and get to make some other impact. Even if it's more indirect, it's still your way of making impact to people's health. Maybe I'll show you how I use my public health accountant someday. We can start our own firm, you see, get this business going, no more 9 to 5, or in this case, no more 8 to 8, like doctors have to work and get more people up together and we can all be healthy including doctors too it's really no i am not this is major but i did mechanical engineering so one thing to pay attention to so far is this is the first time the girl has actually asked him something if i was in this conversation after like a minute and a half and the girl was like very silent i would just say hey have a good day it's nice to meet you enjoy because I think a lot of the time, I don't know, like I've never seen this conversation, so I don't know how this is going to end. But from what I gather so far, the girl doesn't seem that interested. There isn't much chemistry or connection. And a lot of the time, if you have a connection or there's a bit of chemistry, it should show up at the beginning of the conversation. So personally, I would have left here, just wished her a good day. Um, and if you find yourself in these type of situations, just realize that some people will be interested, some people won't be interested, some people will be in relationships, some people won't be in relationships, some people will have a boyfriend, some will have girlfriends, some will have three cats, which you probably shouldn't go after. Um, so a lot of things are outside your control. And I think a lot of guys try to stay in the conversation where they're not enjoying the conversation themselves just because they can feel like the man and say, oh, I got this girl's number. It was so cool. Mm, yeah. I don't feel that every time that a girl is like not interesting doesn't mean that they are rejecting you. Because if that were my case, of course, I'm in a relationship. 
and I'm not a rude person, you know, that I'm not usually like a, my behavior, my behavior is not like a rude or mean person. Like in my case, I will try to avoid a lot of the conversation, trying to say to myself like, hey, I have a boyfriend, I'm not really interested to meet anyone, but I'm not going to say to a guy that is just asking me my name, like, hey, I have a boyfriend. No, 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 but I will try to avoid the conversation. Like, I think that one very important thing is try to think that everything is personal mm, because yeah. it's not. Yeah, never take things personally. So, so it's the exact opposite. They're like engineering professors. Yeah, forget your health. That's not important. You need to go get your study, get your degree, and then go fend on your own after college. That's the fun engineering stuff. Yeah. Ah, yes, you got to be the sniper. Gotcha. So what do you do for fun then outside of studying during your free time? That's it? Okay, so you like to be close to your friends and family? Mm -hmm. Do you have a big family then? Pretty small. Very manageable then. I cannot imagine. I have a small family too. So I only have one young brother. Even though he's younger, for some reason, he's taller than me. He's, he just turned 17 a couple months ago. Yeah, I'm like this brat. He's already taller than me right now. Do not mistake him as the older brother, okay? Do you have any siblings? Yeah. You have two? Are they sisters or brothers? Ah, are you the oldest sibling? No, I'm the youngest. Oh, you're the youngest. Oh no, the youngest ones are usually the rebellious ones. <laughs> that was quite funny. No, but I want to under I want to know what is your opinion about to us about family. Yeah, I think a lot of the time the way the conversation got to this place is he asked her, Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? Mm -hmm. And she probably said, Oh, I just spend time with my family like a lot of girls, when you ask them, oh, what do you like to do in your free time? They'll be like, I like to go out with my friends, eat food, and go to sleep. What do you like to do in your free time? I go to the gym. Ooh. Yeah. Athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. My security. No. No, no, no. Because they don't want to admit their TikTok addiction the first time they meet you. So... If that happens, <laughs> something that I use in conversations is I like to say, okay, you know, everyone likes to spend time with their friends and their family, but what's something that you really like that's unique to you? Because then that pushes the conversation away where you can actually get to know the person, not by their default response to your question, but by something they have to think about. Because a lot of the time when we first have a conversation with someone, we just work on autopilot mm. because we're not like, oh, let me think about my answer. It's but true. when you ask a question like this, you're like, oh, wait, what do I like to do? I like that question. I really like it. And I like that, that, that question that make you um, go to a deeply part of the brain to trying to, to find the answers. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because when you do that as well, you're going to see if you genuinely connect with a girl. Yeah. Because if she comes back and she says, oh, actually, all I like to do is to watch Netflix, then goodbye, girl. Yeah. Not going to work. Yeah. But if she comes back and if she says, oh, you know what? This is a bit embarrassing, but in my free time, I like to just save cooking recipes on my Instagram and I like to really cook. Then you're like, oh my God, that's amazing. What do you like to cook? And now I'm sharing something personal with this guy. Yeah. And yeah, you are building a relationship. Yeah, so like when... Not a relationship, a connection. A relationship. You're married after yeah. that personal fact. <laughs> oh my. Hey man, I hope you enjoy the first episode of this series. Part two is coming very soon. If you like this type of content, drop a like, subscribe, and comment below with your biggest takeaway. I'll see you in the next video.